Are we live? Are we live? Uh. <laughs> All right. Welcome to a, another episode of Claire Hair. Like I said, we are going to the movies this week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll stop. Um, so today's movie that we're going to be reviewing is Napoli Ever After. I think I was trying to call it Natural Ever After, but I'm just like, it's definitely Napoli Ever After. It's starring Sana Lathan um, for the most part. She's our main um protagonist but antagonist of her goals by herself basically she's her own worst enemy um so i wanted to go in and basically like talk about the different stages why this movie is important and of course you know like my overall opinion and everything so i want to get um start off right uh so basically she had it where um she had this long black hair you know your basic hand tied hand tied malaysian straight 16 inch, you know, the regular standard hairstyle. And she was getting, you know, attention from everybody, everybody at work kind of, I guess, respected her more, which I mean, sometimes we do be in our head about hairstyles as well, but there's definitely for sure um, time that you can kind of feel like, dang, like, is it me changing this hairstyle is just making everything um, success wise come up correctly or am I wilding, right? And then she went to the blonde hair, you know, try to do something different. And then she ends up ultimately where, you know, the majority of my video is going to be talking about today is basically with her ending up with the blonde hair. I wanted to touch base in the beginning of the movie. I remember um, at the beginning of the movie, she wanted to play in the pool with her other friends or whatever. And then like once her hair got wet, uh, everybody was kind of just side eyeing her because it was big, puffy and frizzy and this and the other. And me personally, I don't know about y'all, but when I had a perm, I literally became like a little... Y'all think I was y'all think I was just cosplaying Storm? I am Storm. I am Aurora Monroe Claire Hair. Like I'm so serious. I remember I just be like, yeah, um, so hey girl. I feel one drop of hair. There's a disturbance in the force. There's a disturbance. Like just one drop of hair. And I was like, one drop of air that's different. I was like, I already know I'm going, especially if you got a fresh press or a fresh relaxer. I remember I would just go and I'd be like, you know what, hey guys, you know, or even like I become like a little weather forecaster on today's news. Um, no chance of me leaving the house, you know? So for the most part, I would be I have my little Doppler radar. Okay, so it's gonna rain in that section over there. Let me make sure that, <laughs> that's what I'm like, okay, so it's gonna rain in that section over there. Let me make sure that I'm not going out over there. Let me make sure that for the most part, um, let me make sure that I'm not going out today so my hair won't get messed up. So I definitely understand her there. And then um, when she ends up breaking up with Logan, AKA, wait, AKA Lincoln from the 100, if for my people who watch the 100, um, basically when she ends up breaking up with him because she, she wanted to get a ring instead of a puppy, which I'm just like, why would you give somebody an animal without knowing if they want said animal? Animals are never a good gift. <laughs> I'm just little P. ETA about that, but definitely animals are never a good gift. Please stop that. Um, so, <laughs> um, I would definitely say for sure as well, like the fact that like he was just like, oh, well, I don't want to wipe you up because I don't really know anything about you. I feel like we're still going on a first date. You haven't really opened yourself up because she would be that type of person that she would wake up earlier than him, get dressed. So when she wakes up, he's like, wow, you look at you like me. I wake up like this. Like I wear glasses, so maybe the glasses are still on. They're like a strew and everything. The band, the the scarf's on backwards. I'm not getting cute for no one, okay? Especially when like it's not like you know the person you're sleeping next to is walking off the the magazine of GQ. I'm not gonna get cute. Let's be ugly together. Um, so um, I think the main my, my main point today that I gotta kind of got irritated, you know, probably the natural hair community, is the fact that. I feel like people like to put natural hair synonymous with lower class. Like she ended up dating, I guess, uh, she ended up getting somebody with like a lower salary. And they're like, they're kind of, I don't know if that's what they meant to portray, but I feel like they were kind of pushing it to where like, okay, so with a 10 inch bundle, yakky straight Malaysian tan tie one B hair, you can get Lincoln, you know, a high class doctor, or you can get, I think it was a hairdresser with your natural hair. I'm just like, natural hair is elegance. 
Maybe that's just my catchphrase for Claire Hair. I gotta put that in writing somewhere, but it is elegant. I've never seen anything more feminine than natural hair, um, but I'm not gonna come and reach to y'all today. But for the most part, I feel like I didn't like that at all because it was just like, they're just kind of basically saying, hey, if you, have, you can wear your rock your natural hair, but you ain't gonna get no high caliber or high caliber man. Um, and I'm just like, what is going on today? I don't like that. And then I would say for sure, in comparison to the two men, like even after, you know, she shaved her hair and, you know, she got loose and then she jumped into the pool or something. And, you know, with her um, having her natural hair, he, after, you know, after she ended up going back to the guy or whatever, um, Lincoln, sorry, <laughs> whatever his character's in this movie. Um, but when they would end up going back to him, he was just like, hey, um, I'm loving the natural hair, but there's something you can do with it. I was like, you already know, I previously conversed with that. We don't gotta do no thing. We don't gotta do nothing, okay? We don't gotta do nothing with our natural hair. So that's why I hate when I hear that um, thing as well. And then I also feel like um, when the when the salon, when they show the salon scene of her waiting forever to get her hair done as like an all day event, I was definitely triggered. I didn't know they, they should have put trigger warning because nothing is worse than when you read you read at least 17 chapters and you about to conclude the book and she says that the person says your hair is not dry yet. Then what is it? Hmm. What is it? Because if it's not dry, <laughs> if it's not dry, if it's not curled, what is it? Like I literally, like, you can just see little, just puppy dog eyes to this person. I'm just like, okay, so if my hair is not dry, then what is it? God dang it. What is it? Because I've been sitting here. I've watched that sun come up and down and my hair is still not dry yet. <sighs> Triggering. But anyways, in conclusion, I feel like with the shaved look, um, that's why I had asked you guys, thank you guys for voting and, you know, just discussing. It wasn't like a formal question, um, but I really appreciate you guys um, uh, voting on that because like I said, like hair to me, I feel like it's a, I feel like, of course, you know, it's our crown, you know, uh, I wouldn't say it's like our crown and glory, because you know, some people be saying, like, they've always said, like, your hair is your crown and glory, you know, there's a lot of uh, misogyny built into that, um, but that's another video, but I can definitely say for sure that, um, I don't know, I just, I just feel like with hair, like, I feel like we shouldn't be attached to it, because like I was saying, like, in my last video, that I definitely had the only anxiety, because I was always known as that girl that had the long hair, you know, I'm known for having my long hair, this and other. Mind you, my hair is like only bra strap length, but I guess that's long. Um, but like, I was always known as a girl who had a long hair. So when I had a transition, I had to cut my hair off. Like I was terrified. Like I was literally shaking as I was cutting this. I was like, I need the health. So I let go of the wealth, you know? So I can definitely say for sure that <sighs> um, the movie was needed. I like the fact that we were able to have like the representation of like what we go through on a daily basis. Cause when you try to converse with somebody who is not of the same demographic as you, um, in regards to your hair, they don't really, they're not really, it was really like, oh my girl, no one's really paying attention to that. I was like, but they are. And so it was just one of those things where it's just like, it's really nice to have, you know, just start a conversation. The main thing is that I think with um, previous generations that these conversations were not said. They were told, vacuum sack into the Tesseract and then transported to the shadow realm. Like, I'm gonna use every reference I can use, okay? But like literally just transported to the shadow realm. But I'm just like, what jurisdiction is this under? That like, whenever we try to talk about something, I'm glad there was like this conversation going for sure. But I definitely recommend the movie. You know, it definitely was like a feel good movie. And then um, it was um, nice build of character at the beginning of um, Song of Lathan's a character she saw the little girl the daughter or niece i think of the main character i didn't really study that part i was just mostly pressed about the fact that um she shaved her head and had the balls to do it i was so scared because the actress sauna actually ended up saving it in real life as well um so that was pretty dope that was like pretty like enriching you know starting her journey all over again um but yeah with the daughter like at the beginning she was mean she was saying her hair was nappy there's another and then like at the, at the end she ended up like making her um helping i guess they kind of i think it was like synonymous you know i'm gonna go on my english comp one-on-one um i think it was synonymous as in the little girl inside her healed because she saw herself and the little girl as well so that's something to think about um definitely check out napoli ever after i believe it's still on netflix if not yeah i know how to find it um, but definitely don't forget to su subscribe, share, clear here, and guess what on Fridays, we're going to the movies again, so definitely wait for another video.